Should you buy the Breville Barista Express? I've owned this machine for four months of regular daily use. So I'm going to take you through all the things that I like and don't like about the machine and give you an overall recommendation on whether this is the right machine for you. Let's get into it. First off, thank you for joining me. I've just started this YouTube channel as an extension of my TikTok channel, and I'm really excited that you clicked on this video and you're ready to learn more about the Breville Barista Express. So you're in the market for a new espresso machine. Maybe you're working more at home and your old coffee machine is just not cutting it anymore. I was in that exact same position using pre-ground supermarket coffee and I really wanted to up my coffee game because now I'm working pretty much full time at home. You may have seen the Breville Barista Express online. I was seeing it over and over when I was researching a new espresso machine to buy. And I finally bit the bullet and bought the machine in December for a Boxing Day sale. I'm totally new to espresso. I had no idea what I was doing. It was a huge learning curve at first. So I started a TikTok channel to leverage the TikTok community on how to use my machine. I've learned so much from the TikTok community and now I wanna share back my experiences with you to help you understand if this is the best machine for you. So let's get into it. Now, I'm going to do a whole video on um, how to choose the right espresso machine for you, but generally, I chose the Breville Barista Express for a couple reasons. First, it had a built-in hopper and grinder, and that was really important to me because I wanted uh, kind of an all-in-one machine. It also has a uh, an on-demand hot water tap, and that was really important because for my day-to-day -day coffee, I just drink like an Americano or black coffee. I didn't need like this really fancy um, latte making machine, but I wanted that capability. Um, so the hot water tap allows me to easily, quickly make uh, an Americano. So those were my key criteria and the Breville Barista Express has all of those. But like I said, I'll do a video about how to choose the right machine for you. But right now I wanna get into what I like and what I don't like about the Breville Barista Express. So here we go. First off, let's start with the likes. What do I really like about this machine? Okay, number one is the footprint. I live in a small apartment and I don't have a ton of space and I wanted a machine that would do a great job, but also wouldn't take up my entire kitchen. So when I was looking at espresso machines, I was looking at some other like smaller options. And then I saw the Breville Barista Express and I was like, oh, this looks really nice, but this is probably going to be way too big for my kitchen. But I bought it anyway, <laughs> and it actually fits really, really well. It's not too big. Um, this machine actually is pretty compact. If it's really nicely under the cabinet, it doesn't take up too much counter space and there's still room on my counter in front of it to um, make my coffee and to drop whatever I need to drop on the counter. It's a good size. I also like that because it's all in one, I didn't need to have an espresso machine and a grinder um, side by side. It's kind of like all compact in one beautiful looking package. So for me, the footprint was a big win. Next is the wear and tear on the machine. I use this espresso machine every day, multiple times per day, and it still looks just as good as new. I find it's so easy to clean up. Um, sure, you know, there is a bit of mess, but there's always mess with making coffee. But I find the machine wipes up really easily, it polishes clean, and it looks just as good today as it did when I first got it. So that's a really big win for me. Okay, number three is the quality of the espresso. Now. This is my first espresso machine. I don't have a lot of experience um, trying other kind of consumer grade espresso machines. However, when I pull a shot from the Bravo Barista Express, it tastes just as good as like my local coffee shop. Honestly, like I'm really happy with the taste of the espresso and I don't see how getting maybe a more expensive coffee machine would improve it that drastically. It tastes really good to me. And for the average consumer, I think you'd be really, really happy with the taste of the espresso. It certainly tastes a lot better than the stovetop mocha pot that I was using before or the stovetop percolator. So it's a big win for me. Number four is ease of use. Now, getting a new espresso machine, if you haven't um, used an espresso machine before, there's going to be a learning curve. I had a huge learning curve with this machine, but learning curve aside, this machine is really easy to use. I found that after a couple days of owning it, totally learning the technique, I was able to make passable coffee. And then after a couple weeks of regular use, I'd say my coffee is pretty good. 
So if you have any experience with espresso machines, this should be an easy machine to pick up and use without issue. Or if you're totally new, there's so many good resources um, that could kind of bring you up to speed really quickly, including this channel, that's my goal. I'll help you learn how to use your machine. Uh, and before you know it, you'll be making really good coffee at home. All right, the last point that I wanna make about what I really like about this machine is that it heats up really quickly. From the moment that you turn on the machine, it's like, less than a minute and it's ready to brew. Now they do recommend that you let heat up for like 20 minutes or so, and usually I do that. However, if you're in a rush and you want a good coffee like to go and you don't have time, it is ready to go very quickly. For me, this is a big win because I was using a stovetop perk before and it would take a good 20 minutes for the coffee to be ready. Now, of course, it's not going to be as fast as say a pod type coffee like Nespresso, Keurig, or Tassimo, but with the Barista Express, you're grinding the beans fresh using a good locally sourced coffee. So overall, your experience is going to be nicer. And it's not that much slower than a pot type coffee. Heating up quick, really big win for me. All right, so we've talked about the things that I like about the Breville Barista Express. And now let's talk about some of the things that I don't like about the Breville. You drink. Okay, so the first thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the spacing between the holster for the coffee grinder and the top of the grinder itself. So what I mean is when you grind your coffee into the port filter, it's nice and fluffy and it sticks up above the port filter and that's normal. So when you take the port filter out of the holster, because the coffee is mounted up so much, um, it it scrapes off the top layer of the coffee and it creates all this mess and you have waste and it's really not ideal. And I feel like Breville could have easily just added a bit more space for that. Now, it's not a huge deal. You can like wiggle the porter filter in the holster to help level it out a bit. It still doesn't work perfectly. You can also use something like a 3D printed funnel that I use or you can hold the porter filter underneath and let it just pile up and not use the holster itself. But the thing is, these are all workarounds and it could have just been built into the design of the machine. It's not a deal breaker, but it is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Number two, if you're buying this machine with the intention of making a lot of lattes, this may not be the best machine for you. And that's because this is a single boiler machine. So why does this matter? Let's use an example. So. This happened to me, I had some people over for a brunch, there were four of us in total and everyone wanted a latte. So I started making lattes for everybody. And after the second latte, um, from brewing the espresso, then steaming the milk, then brewing the espresso and steaming the milk back and forth, after like the second latte, the Breville just kind of quit on me and it wouldn't steam and it was slow brewing. It just had a hard time keeping up with the demands of heating the water and switching back and forth between brewing and steaming. For the average person, if you're making one latte a day or uh, if you're not doing back-to-back -back lattes, you're not even gonna notice this, it's not a big deal. However, if you're really into lattes and you want a machine where you can make really good lattes at home and make them for a bunch of people all at once, you probably wanna consider using a double boiler espresso machine. But, the key difference between this machine and a double boiler machine, you're looking at paying probably double the price. So while you may want a double boiler, it, it may not be in your budget. For me, it wasn't. I went with the Breville Barista Express. Generally, I don't make a lot of lattes and I'm okay with the single boiler. Okay, so the third thing that I wanna say about the Breville is the steam wand isn't instantly hot. For most people, this isn't a huge deal and it's really comparable to other machines in its grade. But why does this matter? If you're someone who wants to make a lot of lattes, having an instantly hot steam wand is going to give you a better overall experience steaming your milk and give you a better texture for your lattes, your latte art. For me, I don't make a lot of lattes, so I can deal with the uh, slower steam wand. It takes a couple minutes to heat up. That's fine for me, but it may be something for you to consider. Overall, I'm really pleased with my Breville Barista Express. It really didn't take long for me to learn how to use it, and it seriously ups my coffee game. For the things I don't like, there are easy workarounds, and they wouldn't hinder me from buying this machine again. I really do like this espresso machine. I find the coffee tastes great, and is really comparable to your local coffee shop. 
Well, there you have it. Those are my likes and my dislikes about the Breville Barista Express. I'd love to hear from you. What do you really like about it? What don't you like about it? Please leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. As always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button so you can see more great coffee content. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.